Um, my name is Kayla. I've been married to Sebastian Cardona, who serves in our Spanish ministry for five years. And I'm now a mom to my 11-month-old son, Jackson. As many of you know, my journey as a mother actually began with loss. My first pregnancy ended in miscarriage in February of 2020, right before a global pandemic forced the world into isolation. And that experience was basically my worst fear come to life. And I was so grateful for our community coming around us in support and in comfort in those days. And then when I found out later that year that I was pregnant with our son Jackson, I'll admit it was hard for me to fully rejoice at first because now fear had crept in. God had to do a lot of work in my heart through his word, through worship, and through his people to help me trust him again. And I'm happy to say that the day Jackson was born was a day of much rejoicing. You may have heard mothers talk about rainbow babies, which, you know, if you experience loss and then had a baby after, we call them rainbow babies. And to some degree that felt true. I felt God promising to continue to be faithful to our family no matter what. But that doesn't mean that motherhood has been without storms. The weeks following Jackson's birth, I experienced a lot of anxiety and depression, but also joy, comfort, and continued reminders of God's faithful presence through the people he placed in my life. This season of motherhood has also tested our marriage in ways I don't think anyone could have prepared us for. And I'll admit, some days it was hard to see through the daily pressures and responsibilities newly placed on me and look to the face of Jesus for peace. I often look to solid bedtime routines, feeding schedules, a day off, <laughs> and other circumstantial things for my peace more than I was looking to Jesus some days. But something I'm learning in this season is that the gentleness of God is always there when I feel like I'm at my lowest. He doesn't run from our mess. He embraces it. He doesn't reprimand when I come to him. After weeks of ignoring my Bible, he rejoices. It's always safe to come back to the Lord, no matter how long it's been. It's my prayer that his love for me in that way will be reflected through me to my son so that he can also know the gentle, steadfast, safe, life-giving love of God. I want to leave you today with a poem that I read this morning by artist and poet Morgan Harper Nichols. You may have seen it if you follow her on social media. And it says this, For whatever today means for you, I hope you give yourself permission to breathe. I hope you remember that in their own small way, every inhale is an act of taking it all in. Every exhale is an act of surrender. I hope you find room to just be. Whether today is a day of looking back, looking forward, or simply being present to the moment in the best way you know how, there is room for you on this very day to be where you need to be. If there is grief, let there be grief. If there is joy, let there be joy. If there is a mixture of feelings that have no name, there is no pressure to name them today. Whether today is a day of remembering, honoring, celebrating, creating, or waiting, nurturing, unearthing, practicing gratitude, or just making it through, there is room right here for you to let today be what it needs to be, welcoming the grace that gives you room to breathe. Happy Mother's Day.